we're sticking swords here. And today we're going to start work on Alien Ranger Black Helmet or Kaku Ranger Black, whatever you prefer. I prefer Kaku Ranger. If you haven't seen Kaku Ranger, you should watch Kaku Ranger. But um, a lot of different things to do on this one that we haven't really done yet. I'm going to cut the visor out on this one. Printed with one. Didn't worry about cleaning anything up yet. The back of this one failed. So I had to print a replacement top. I should have did a video of that. But I just welded this on. I don't know if you can see the inside, but it just welded on the missing part. So we'll fill this with some epoxy putty and sand it down. And then I also dropped this a good bit. I'm pretty sure it's split. Yep, it's split right here on the side. I don't know if you can see that. But we'll glue it weld the inside and if there's a little bump or anything we'll put some epoxy putty but certainly fixable nothing to get upset about everything else seemed to print okay you know we'll do the usual do the chin but let's get started on this here this will be my third copper ranger helmet i think i've blue and white so far so almost got the whole set The visor I'll cut out here wasn't too bad. This actually turned out. I've made I printed one of these for someone else and cut out the visor for him. This turned out a little nicer than when I did it for him. I kind of feel bad now, but um, my printer's been putting weird lines down the middle of these models. I don't know why. I need to figure that out. I mean, it's shallow enough, it's sandable, but that's just more work. I don't know. And it's just my Ender Five. Not my uh, alpha wise. I don't know what's going on there. But if you cut the visors out, keep this. Because um, you can bend your visor material around this, clamp it, and draw a pattern from it. Or, I mean, you could use paper even if you wanted to. But I usually try to skip a step if I, if I can. But this will save you time and a lot of your sanity trying to get a visor that fits in here. But th this one's not bad because it's a pretty you know, wide curve, so it doesn't have a lot of bends in it, and there's enough space up here that you can get it pretty flush and not lose any of the look that it's all one piece, kind of, so, but, yep, got that, we will, I'll probably epoxy putty the back first, then I'll hit it with 60, because you got to clean all this up, because when you cut it, it melts the plastic, and you get all these little burrs everywhere, but, getting there. So this Cocker Ranger Black, we got welded back together here, uh, and as you can see, uh, if you can make it out from the video, all I do is tack it together until it cools a little bit, and just take some excess filament, go in and uh, melt it over and try to marry the two pieces. Uh, I could smooth this out a little more. It's kind of hard to see at this angle for me. I will actually, because that's going to hurt my head, I'm sure. big jaggy pieces in here you can always go in and hit this with a little bit of sandpaper too if you want my wood burning tool is better but again still didn't get one yet a replacement i guess or if you have a 3d pen that might work too i don't really know i don't have one but i imagine it's about the same but oh crack there's a little ding out of there from when i dropped it but only thing is if you do drop this again it's probably gonna crack here so you know no matter what you do but i don't think we need to epoxy the outside it looks pretty okay to me other than this we'll, we'll do up here this line should not be here again this is where i married the two pieces uh because print fell over about that far up and that uh, i'm just kind of sick of it so i just printed the cap and went on with my life so we'll see so for some reason i didn't get a video of me putting epoxy sculpt on the back but i did and i smoothed it out and 
here I'd be actually sanding it. So um, we're just hitting it with 100 grit. Sometimes I go over the epoxy sculpt with uh, like 60 grit just to get the bumps down. Then I'm just doing the whole helmet in 100. Then after that, just put a first coat of filler primer on it. Then after you let that dry for at least 24 hours, uh, go back and hit it with a uh, 200 grit sandpaper. Now after you got that sanded, doing the second coat of filler primer, I usually go pretty heavy with this coat. And then again after this dries for about a day, I usually wait a little longer because it can gum up your sandpaper, but then I go to my favorite part which is wet sanding. I'm using uh, 400 grit sandpaper here and then sometimes I'll move up to 500, but I don't think it's really necessary. And then we're on to the uh, base coat, which in this case would be black. Then we'll mask it off after it dries for a while. Uh, the gloss paint, you wanna make sure you let it sit for at least a week. And then we'll go over it with uh, some gold here. And here, I lost the first part of this recording, but I'm just going in with a acrylic paint marker and doing the detailing around the visor and I also did the stripes up and down the top and bottom. This did take a couple coats and I did end up using some uh, brushed on acrylic just to speed it up a little bit. Then after you let it dry, time to hit it with a gloss coat. If you do about two thick coats. You want to be careful though because this stuff will run pretty easily. I'm just making the visor. Um, since we have this piece cut out, I just use it as a pattern. I usually just use small clamps, put it on the uh, PETG I use, trace it, cut it out, and it should be good enough to glue it. There you have it. There is Alien Ranger Black, Kaku Ranger Black. Um, I don't remember his name in Kaku Ranger, uh, but he's the American. He's got that badass fight scene with that uh, one villain. I don't want to spoil it, but they have a far back reaching relationship. It's, it's a fantastic fight. I mean, Kaku Ranger is, is wonderful. Um, I feel like Power Rangers really did it dirty by only making it a miniseries with the Alien Rangers, but I mean, I guess they used the Zords, but definitely, definitely check out uh, Cocker Ranger with Prince Noble Jr. and all that wonderful series. Really is one of my favorites. Um, I printed this. This one was the first one. I printed this for a commission, actually, for somebody um, on Instagram. And this one failed. The, pack, the back of the print didn't print. So I printed him a new one, and he actually finished it a while ago. It looked really good. Um, but I decided to keep this one. I reprinted the back. Um, so it doesn't quite line up very much. So Because when I uh, re-sliced the back, I didn't really check it until it was already putting it together. 
not really much I could do. I just went down just a little too far, so when I put it back together, um, it doesn't quite line up as nice. But I think it looks okay from the front, for sure. Um, definitely happy with how it turned out. Actually, this I like the black helmets because you get to do the white out outlining on it. I think it looks good the whole way across here. But yeah, pretty happy with how this is looking. I think this is now my one, two. I want to say third, third Cocker Ranger helmet, right? I swear it blew some, oh, blew it down here. No. Oh, white's behind me. White's behind me. So I have white, blue, and black done. I just need red and yellow. And I guess Ninja Man would be the sixth, but didn't really like him in Power Rangers. Ninja or didn't really like him in Cocker Rangers. So I'm probably not going to make his helmet. I do have a file for it, I think, but. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment. Um, check out my Instagram for daily build pictures. You can comment on there or ask me any questions. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. I have a ton of videos still coming out. Tons of helmets still working on. Some I want to redo. I definitely want to redo my Red Zeo. I have him down there hidden so you can't see how bad he looks. I even forgot there was a white outline around the star. So, that's about where he's at. So one day I'm going to ground her doing that. I've got about 13, 14 videos in the works, so it will be content. Um, I hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.